do you think our society and maybe even particularly the media are failing our soldiers in a, in a way that they don't really get covered? I mean, I, I, I write for a lot of um, conservative and pro-military uh, media outlets, and there seems to be a divide between the mainstream secular media and the more conservative media because the mainstream media doesn't really – cover this as much. I could be wrong about that. I'm willing to be corrected on that. But um, I think this is a film that every journalist in America should see. Uh, what's your experience with the mainstream media, and, and do you think I'm right about that? Well, I think so. I mean, it, it is, in large part, we, we know statistics, and we know that if one soldier does one bad thing in Afghanistan or, or overseas, it will get blasted in the airwaves by, you know, almost every major, you know, channel. It's going to get mass news. But whenever one soldier does something courageous and heroic and selfless, it doesn't get coverage, usually. Um, they win a medal of honor for their story to be told. And this thing is, that means that, you know, Nine times out of ten, the news stories that get blasted out are usually going to be a lot of negative coverage, um, or at least the ones that go far and wide. And the selfless stories, the heroic stories, are often lost, even though those are the norm. That is the identity you know, of our military. That is their, their common action. And it's heartbreaking. But it's the same thing for our police force as well. You know, our police officers, nine times out of ten, uh, 99 times out of 100 are doing the right thing, are being courageous, selfless, heroic. And that is the norm for our police officers. But whenever one of them does one bad thing, that's the thing that's going to get the news coverage. And the problem with that is that starts to shape the public's opinion about who these people are and, and what's normal for them. And so, you know, the media is blasting out negative stories you know, about these individuals, you know, the rare cases, and what they're doing is within the, you know, the American public consciousness, they're creating this assumption that that's the norm, that that negative thing is the norm, when it absolutely 100% is not. And uh, that 